Group G Racing, Hobbs Boyhood Fantasies were prophetic. The Mustangs and the Corvettes are chasing the Jag. And that Jag is driven by Bob Hebert, and he has yet to lose this race. 1991, 92, and 93, and very successful in other venues as well. But smoke coming off the back, and of course, he's being chased by a real professional, Gene Felton, of course, who was a participant in last year's Fast Masters as Randy Lentz spins again. Going down the main straight there into Ginetta. Ooh, and tags the rail. Won't do that car much good, although he didn't touch it very hard. There's another one going off. That's 66, Brian Johnson in a Mustang. That particular American Classic having a bit of trouble hanging on to the road. Check this out, 68 Chevy Camaro. Frank Grimaldi now races it. Skip Barber, who runs Lime Rock, once drove it. <laughs> All right, nice ride. We go to the last lap of the race. You're on board with Gene Felton against Bob Hebert. And David, this turned out to be a heck of a battle. Absolute barnstorm as they go through Big Bend, and you can see what they mean. Tire smoke still coming off that Jaguar XKE. Down to the left hand here, the only left hander on this track, and that car is still smoking under extreme pressure from our own Gene Felton. Felton's car, a 1970 Mustang, Boss 302. He's pretty much out of the uh, professional racing business and very much a full-time vintage restorer and racer now. So I assume it meant a bit to the business to be able to beat that Jag. Absolutely, coming up to the climbing turn in. Now we see the downfall of the Jag traffic. The dread of every racing driver, except in this case, Gene Felton. Let's watch what happened. Into the final turn. Heber takes the Jag to the apex, off the corner. Felton turns it loose up the inside and comes down to win by about the length of the front fender. Gene Felton goes to victory circle as he defeats Hebert in the Jag. Perhaps the most exciting race of the weekend. You take a look at the results. Gil Nickel coming back for his second top five finish of the weekend. And Gene Felton heads for victory circle and the opportunity to tell David Hobbs what it's really like out there. Gene Felton, the winner of Group G, and now we see why you're one of the Fastmasters. Tell us about that last lap. That last lap, I couldn't tell you what happened, David. There was so much traffic. Uh, I was about five cars coming down the hill, and I guess I got lucky. I got in the right line. And the old Ford was running good, you know. Barry Kieselstein, Colts car was just one heck of a car today. I seem to remember you taking a win away from another driver just a few years ago at Moroso under similar, not quite similar circumstances, but close. I believe it was the last lap and the man's name was Mr. Hobbs, wasn't it? <laughs> I believe it was. <laughs> Sorry about that, David, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> well, that was one of the best races of the South Island, and Gene Felton, a many-time champion in IMSA, put on a great display and pulled off one of those great last-minute wins, much to the surprise of the protagonist, Bob Hebert. That seems to be a theme of the weekend. The races Hobbs didn't win. A fond memory here for Gene Felton. We'll be back. <laughs>